Breaking news is first at 10 o'clock. That's right. Alabama State Troopers were involved in a high-speed chase that ended a short time ago on the causeway. Fox News reporter Lee Peck is live on the scene. Lee, understand the person ended up in an ambulance? Well, they did, Bob Milanese. Just moments ago, he was rolled in a gurney into that ambulance that is still on the side of uh, the causeway here. The suspect's car right beside it. Uh, they have a tow truck that's about to tow it away. But like you guys said, this all got started with a high-speed chase on I-10. They were on the Bayway. Uh, apparently, Alabama State Troopers trying to pull over this suspect for still unknown reasons. But he did not want to stop. He kept going. Uh, they say he exited on exit 27 kept going here when they got to this point that's when he bailed out of what appears to be a, a late model honda accord he tried to run off but uh, we have confirmed that state troopers apprehended him it didn't take long for them to apprehend him when we drove up it appears as though he was in the back of the uh, the state troopers unit and then like i said that ambulance drove up a fire truck drove up the paramedics got out they were checking him out in the back of the car and it didn't take long for them to go back in there, get that gurney. They rolled it out and it took a little bit of time, but they finally got him out on the gurney. And when they were rolling him up to the ambulance, it appears as though he was in handcuffs. Now we have learned that he had uh, some jail warrants out. So apparently he did not want to go back to jail. That's why he was running. But it appears as though right now he's going to be making a trip to uh, the hospital before uh, making a stop at Metro Jail. Again, we're gonna continue to ask questions and get some more answers for you, but uh, a high-speed chase lands a suspect in handcuffs and now in an ambulance on his way to the hospital before stopping at Metro Jail. Live from the Causeway, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.